bad street dream Telling me lies when the truth was clear Think she knew what I wanted to hear Close to You by Maxi Priest is a fantastic song, one of my favorites from the early 90s, or it may have even been late 80s, but um, it's hard to remember back that far. But what a cracker song. It's relatively simple, but I want to take you through it, show you the different um, formats. It's all mapped out on your chart and also give you a way of playing that middle section, which is really, really nice. And not many people tend to play it that way, but it's kind of what we like to do here is like add a little bit to, to give you a bit of a challenge as well. So let's go through our chords. We have this uh, E flat minor seven. We're in the key of E flat minor. So we've got E flat minor seven, B flat minor seven, and A flat minor seven. They are our chorus chords, and they are also the chords we use in one type of verse. There's two types of verses in this song, uh, the way I've mapped it out on your chart. There's a total of five verses, but there's, you know, three done one way and two done the other way. I'll explain as we go. Download your chart, let's get into it. We start with this great little bass line. Okay, and that goes underneath these great chords. Now, as far as your rhythmic playing here, I would like to keep it simple to make it kind of cool and groovy and just like keep this rhythm fairly sparse because it's one of those songs where the groove is better the less you play, if you know what I mean. So if you're playing with your fingers, I like to just grab the bass note with my thumb and with these three fingers grab some of the notes out of the chords, usually like, you know, the D, G and B strings, but you don't have to be super precise with it. And we do this. So pick them all together and then pick the fingers only. So thumb and fingers first and then fingers only. Then we change chords, do the same thing on the B flat minor seven. And on that one, you can actually play even less. Or you can add a couple of little extra beats like that. It's up to you, but try not to do too much there. She was a Jezebel, this Brixton queen, walking the back street. Seven. I think she knew back up to the B flat minor seven. What I wanted to hear. That's your verse. That's type A verse, right? That's verse one. Then we go into the first chorus. I just want to be close to you. Do all the things you want me to. I just want to be close to you. Show you the Verse 2 uses different chords. I feel when I'm lying in the midnight hour. So we've gone down to a D flat major, down to a B major, come back up to the D flat major, go back down to the B major, back up to D flat again, and then come back to the E flat minor 7. That's your first time through. This little repeat on this verse has two alternate endings. You'll see with a little one and a little two. The first time through, you come back to the E flat minor seven. The second time through, you go down the same way, down to the B, back up to the D flat, back down to the B. But the second time you go down to the B, after that, you go straight down to a B flat seven. Now, I prefer to play it there, but you can play it there just as easily. And then we're into another chorus again. To verse 3 which is the same chord pattern as verse 1 but there are no chords played so you can play that bass line if you like underneath it or you can play the chords either way it's it's basically the same thing but you're not playing the chords <laughs> you hit this little thing on your chart called the DS Alcoda. And that tells you to go back to, DS means del senio, that tells you to go back to the senio, 
which is that little dollar sign at the beginning of the first chorus. Then you play from there down to the coda mark. So we'll go through a chorus, then a verse, the verse four, which is gonna be the same as verse two. So those chords and another chorus. I just wanna be close to you. And then we hit your coda sign, which basically takes you down skipping over that, that breakdown line onto the middle eight section. Now, the middle eight section is kind of where the, where the fun soloing begins. It starts with Then we're going to A flat, minor seven, but still playing these notes. So you don't need that note there in an A flat, minor seven. And I will point out that if you're playing, you know, shell chord voicings, for example, your E flat minor seven is like that, and your B flat minor seven is like that, and your A flat minor seven is like that. They're kind of easier chords to play, but if you're not familiar with those, then maybe you just want to do the straight up bar chords. But in this section, I'm sort of using the bar chord version without this, the fifth of the chord, which is usually played by your third finger here, which just kind of makes it simpler and easier to play. Down to the A flat minor seven. Up to the B flat minor seven. And now we're, now we're playing the notes there with that first finger barring everything. Then the next little section is the high, high synth bit that goes do 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 So we can play this up here. If we go up to the 11th fret, where we're playing our E flat bass note on the E string now, use that first finger to bar both the E strings. Doesn't matter what happens in between them because you're only playing these strings. Play the, both those strings and then play the 14th fret on the B string like this. And then cut them short to keep it clean. Then you drop down to the E flat on the 6th fret of the A string, do the same thing, but you're playing the 6th fret of the E string and the 9th fret of the E string like that. Then you move over to the G string, do 6 and 8 the same way. And then I kind of would just land on this E flat minor chord there. And then move down to your A flat minor again. Do that again. Do this one, the B flat minor seven, but this time put your third finger on that fifth of the chord. And do those notes there. And end with the full B flat minor seven using that finger and that to round up off that section. So all of it would sound like this. Same as the first verse. Play that through and then you're on to another chorus and it just repeats that last chorus out to the end. That is it, that's the entire song. It's a little bit, um, you know, it's a little bit complex actually. It's a clever song, but it's it sounds very simple and very groovy. Um, and I really like it, I hope you do too. Thanks for watching, see you here again next time.